Hey everybody, um, you know, I told you that I'm a foodie, so I like to try different places. And from time to time, I'm going to take you to some of those places and tell you what I think of the food. Now, I am doing something a little different today. Uh, if you're not kind of up on some of the, the kind of neat little trends that are happening in food. One of the interesting things is, you know, the old hot dog cart that you see on the side of the road or on the city street? Well, they now actually have some food trucks. And you may have seen this on the Food Network or some of these others where they actually have food trucks that go around, stop different places. There's probably about three or four around the Baltimore area now. Some of them do burgers. One does burritos. Um, one does a little bit more gourmet food. Well, I found one that does crepes, and I love crepes. So I found out that it's going to be uh, up here on Padonia Road in Timonium, and uh, I'm just a couple blocks away, so I'm going to go get me some crepes. So it's great. I found the place. Uh, it's just a couple blocks from where I was. And uh, by the way, you know, most of these places, the way that uh, you find out where they are is their Twitter feed. And so uh, by the way, if you want to follow my Twitter feed, I'm at twitter.com slash MikeAllyInMD. So it's M-I-K-E-A-L-L-E-Y-I-N-M-D, MikeAllyInMD. And uh, if you check my followers, you'll see some of these food trucks that I follow. And uh, this, is, uh, this is a new one of them. So I, uh, like I said, I haven't visited this one before, but uh, they normally set up inside an office park like this where there's going to be a lot of folks coming out for lunch and they're here for a couple of hours this one's 11 to 1 today so uh anyway gonna go try the food and see what it's like so the creperie bourrege boasts authentic french crepes and let me tell you the stuff is the real deal the chef on the back of the truck has two amazing hot plates where he ladles the wonderful crepe dough along with the uh, fresh fillings and let me tell you, you can smell it. Oh, and it was good. Well, of course, uh, whenever you're doing something uh, from a food cart, there's no tables around, so you're either uh, taking it back to your office, or you're uh, going to be eating it, uh, eating it in the car, or uh, at a local picnic table. It's cool where they are here. There's some uh, picnic tables around, but uh, I wanted a quiet spot to tell you. I wish you guys could smell this. Um, this is an amazing crepe. I mean, it's amazing. It's huge. It's heavy. It smells wonderful. I got. Uh, I actually ordered two because I just couldn't make a decision. I got the classic, which is uh, basically a, a ham and cheese. I got it with uh, just Swiss, and uh, but they give you a choice of cheddar, Gruyere, or brie with it. And then I also got a Normandy, which is uh, beautiful chicken. I got to try and show you this beautiful chicken with sliced apple and brie cheese. And it's all warm and delicious, and um, I'm looking forward to tasting these. So, um, and I got to tell you, just from the smell of it already, I know I'm going to love it. So, uh, I'm going to put up the link to these guys so that you can follow them. Uh, talk to them a little bit. They do a lot of the northern uh, part of Baltimore County, Timonium today. They do Loyola and some other areas. So, you might want to check them out. Uh, we'll have more food things coming up uh, here on uh, Life Behind the Mic as, uh, as, I, as I love food. So uh, that's it for this one. And uh, enjoy, as uh, Julia would say, bon appetit.